Hey family, welcome back to another episode of House to Home. I literally almost forgot to turn the camera on. So today, y'all have me. Okay, no Ron. It's going to work. So I'm about to paint here all of this spiral staircase. And it's metal. Okay, so let me just bring you over here. So I literally forgot. Metal, very intricate metal. This is the underside of the metal. And let me turn it this way so you can see the process, right? So the blue ain't it, right? Ron loves this staircase, it is has a sentimental value to him. Right? And so, while some people might find it super hideous, he finds it to be beautiful. So I decided to paint it black, the entire thing. The spindles and the actual treads, all of it is just gonna be black. Um, except this white spindles up here, but the handrail that's orange still will be black, like the ones all the way in there. So metal, right? So I had to prep it by cleaning and degreasing it. What degreasing it? Cleaning it. Um, first, it had a lot of Remy's hair and all those little, you know, spaces over time or whatever. So I had to wipe every single piece of this thing down. I'm gonna be using bare oil base and satin finish enamel to stick on this metal. Um, and this is in the color black. It's just tinted black, black. And let's open it and see what this looks like. I'm a little bit intimidated by this project because it's so much to it. I've been standing here <laughs> trying to figure out where I was going to start at. So I think I'm going to start at the top and just work my way down. Black. Black. So I think what I'm going to do is start up here and just work my way down, painting everything as I go. And then I'll come back and do probably this part up here last. Um, so I cleaned this thing three times. Three times it got a full wipe down. Um, the only thing I'm not going to paint is the actual handrails, this part. This part will stay silver, and then everything else you see, the white, the blue, will become the black. These are the treads that goes on it, that goes on these pieces. So it was stained to match this floor. This will be coming up, so don't even look at that orange. But this is going to look, this is going to look really nice on top of that. Oh my goodness. So, let me take a coffee break. And I'm going to come back and do this tedious work. Starting from the top and working my way all the way back and down here. And let's see how it turn out. Okay, so this is probably like three hours after the intro of this video, right? And from where you're looking now, you probably can't see nothing done, literally. But if I take you up here, we're gonna talk about this because I'm feeling some type of way right now. And I'll share it with you because I share everything with y'all. So I'm up here, this is as far as I can go, right? Right here, down, down, and down. And my plan was to time lapse this whole process for y'all. Just give you good music, let you watch me work. Um, it didn't turn out that way because I just wasn't gonna torture y'all like that. My plan was to start at the top and just kind of back my way back down the stairs. Okay, 
If you've ever worked with enamel paint, it's totally different than latex paint. It's super sticky and when painting on the surface, it tends to um, start to set up right away and get super sticky. So going over it while it's still wet causes a problem. So you just kind of have to leave it, let it go ahead and dry, then come back when you do your second coat and fix the problem then, okay? Um, I told you in the intro I wasn't painting this, this part, just the uh, the spindle things. I actually ended up painting this too, which I realized I didn't really have to paint this because the treads are going back over this, but it's whatever now. Um, only the edges and the parts that you would have still been able to see would have made my life a whole lot better, but I had already started, so it's okay. Getting underneath the underside, right, while standing on the spiral stairs is hard. It was very hard. This one, I don't know if it's coming off or not, but this one is done. I couldn't reach that area. Or maybe I could have, but I don't know. I have to come back. I wasn't aware of how bad a heights I am afraid of, and so... Let me come down on this side so I can show you. Um, <sighs> leaning over to paint this part. I'm leaning this way. Um, it was a little scary for me because I'm not used to hanging off the side of something to paint it. So I was nervous. And you can see I, I didn't get to the bottom part because I don't have... I'm going to try this ladder right here and see if I'm tall enough to at least get the outer. And then having to paint upside down. Because all of this is upside down. Right? So I got this, the, the first coat up to here. And around... Kind of going this way. Like so. It's a lot. This is definitely one of those projects that <coughs> I feel like would have been well worth paying someone to do it. So, once I put complete this whole first round of this, this stuff has to set until tomorrow in, in the morning. And then I can come back and do another coat. Cause it's definitely going to need another coat on it but that's how you, you really can't even tell i wanted to come back and have like a oh wow done already so that you can kind of see but i have had to move so slow getting in between those little spaces right so time lapsing it just wasn't even an option you wouldn't have been able to see all of it and didn't really have anywhere to set the camera up that you could have seen you know some ASMR painting <laughs> so this is where I am and I'm about to start up again um, and I'm trying to paint in a pattern like start in one section get all of that section done move to the next section get that section done and back out and so forth and so on well that didn't happen up there in that little corner up here because I started out painting these and then realized, ooh, I need to get this before all this is wet. So then I had to go back and hang off. Like, I had nothing to hold on to. So I literally was swinging from a chandelier, trying to get underneath there, holding on to this, right? And of course, all of these. Now, I can show you that angle once I get down a little bit lower. Um, and right up there, there's about two and a half needing to be done up there, too. So, this right here is where I am. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but I got to keep going because this part needs to dry so that it'll be ready for tomorrow's coat. I'll see if I can get up there on this, but I don't know. You ever take on a project, right? And in your mind, you thinking, oh my God, it's gonna be so nice. Oh, I can't wait until it's done. 
and then you start the project and then you start to rethink your life choices that's what this is I'm rethinking my life choices I'm never taking a project on like this ever again and good luck if you decide to do it in your space I don't know how far or how tall this thing can go but and I feel like I'm going back and forth, which is what I didn't want to do. I wanted to just stay on one little thing and keep going, but that's not the case here. So let me try to set you up, at least to see this part. I don't know. I don't know where I'll set you, but we'll try. The 
Let the music 